Hi guys, this is AJ Brutico from AJBrutico.com with another Apple tip. This one has to do with watching movies on your computer, which may not be the format of choice for sitting down to, for a two-hour flick. However, it does have its advantages because most Blu-ray discs and some DVDs are providing digital copies of the movies to take with you on the go. So if you have a long plane ride or bus trip, it's nice to be able to have these movies on a laptop or possibly even transferring them to your iPhone or iPod Touch for viewing later. But you also notice that these movies take up a large amount of hard drive space. My problem was that I wanted to keep my music on my computer's hard drive, but I wanted to keep my movies somewhere else. And you can find a lot of information online about transferring your iTunes music folder to a different location, but what if you only wanted to transfer a movie or a group of movies and leave the rest of the data of your iTunes music folder alone. Well, with the newest version of Snow Leopard in iTunes, this is a pretty easy task. Now, what I wanted to do was make my movie visible to all the Macs in my house. And that can be done by putting a movie on either a server, or in this case, what I'm using is a network storage device. A NAS, or a network storage device, is simply a hard drive that's plugged in to a router through a network port that all computers have access to. There are many different kinds of NAS devices, some of which are built into the router. For example, Apple's Time Capsule is a type of uh, NAS. It's a network attached storage device that can be used for backup purposes, but can also be tweaked to be a partition drive so that you can use a part of the drive for backup and part of it as storage. The Time Capsule also comes with a USB port to where you can add a secondary hard drive to add even more storage. There are other NAS storage devices which can plug into a regular router, many of which um, can be found online. I used to use one from Buffalo Technologies in the past, but in this example I'll be using an Apple Time Capsule. So I'll open up iTunes and I'll show you that I have a couple of different videos on this iMac. I have The Dark Knight, Star Wars, Clone Wars, and I just downloaded The Watchmen. Now, The Watchmen, if I go to get info, we'll find out that it's actually on my OS X hard drive, so it's on this iMac itself. Now, this takes up a decent amount of space. I'm going to see if it says exactly the size of the, uh, of the file. 2.23 uh, gigs. So, movie's about 2 to 2.5 gigs. That's 2.5 two gigs that I can be using much more wisely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this file off of my iMac and I'm going to place it on my network attached storage device which I have plugged into um, my time capsule. So what I've done is um, I will basically show this item in Finder and here's my movie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this movie and I'm going to paste it on my desktop. And we'll pause the video while that's transferring. Now, we've transferred the, wa the Watchman M4V file to my desktop. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the section of iTunes, and I'm going to delete this movie off my iTunes. It will ask me if I want to move the file to trash, and I will say yes. So now I have no more Watchmen movie on this in this iTunes music folder. And if you look here under the section, it is gone. What I will do now is I will go over to my time capsule, and I have a Sonos, I have a spare drive which I call Sonos Media, which is basically my Sonos system. But basically, long story short, it's a USB hard drive plugged into the um, time capsule. If I go into Sonos Media, I have a movie section, and these are where all my videos are. I will now drag the Watchmen video to the drive and let go, which will copy it over. And this is a longer transfer, obviously, because it's going through uh, my network and not through uh, a direct wired connection. So I'll pause the video again. So as you can see, I brought the video um, from the desktop back onto the network attached storage devices uh, movie folder. Now. Once I have this here, my only job is to drag the video back into iTunes and it will now link the new site on the NAS drive 
as the uh, location for the movie. This now gets the movie off of uh, my main computer's hard drive, frees up the space, puts it on a network attached storage device, and allows me to view the movie on multiple machines. Um, so now I will just grab the iTunes folder, go to my movie section, and I will grab the Watchmen and I will drag it in. And it should, in a second, there it is. And if I right click on it and I go to get info now, the movie should say that it is located in my Sonos Media slash Movies directory. So now I freed up hard drive space. Now all you need to do is go to your other computers, access the network attached storage from them, and drag the movie files into your iTunes on whatever computer you want to watch them on, and you're set to go. Um, and I know, I know that uh, these movies only allow you to have so many computers to view them on, but unless you have a real lot of computers in your home, that's probably not going to be an issue for you. So I hope this tip is helpful. Um, it's, a great, uh, it's always great to free up some uh, hard drive space and be able to watch movies from uh, any computer in your home, if need be. And just remember, though, if you're going to be going um, out of the area, um, for example, if you're going to be going on vacation, you are not going to have a hard copy of your movies on your laptop. You may have to drag them back into iTunes and reverse the situation. So um, that's all I have to say about that. And have a good day, guys, and hope this was helpful.